Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and how to tell time on an analog clock. So let's get started. Let's first start with the hands. Some clocks have three hands, but we're only going to focus on two hands in this video. First, the hands of a clock always spin in this direction, and this is called clockwise. The small hand tells you what hour it is. There are 24 hours in a day, and you always start with the short hand. So let's practice. This is one o'clock. This is three o'clock. This is seven o'clock. What if the short hand is like this or in between numbers? It will be the time the small hour has just passed. So this would be five o'clock. This would be eight o'clock. Now let's talk about the large hand. The large hand tells you the minutes. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Now each of these numbers is equal to 5, so it goes like this, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and the last number is two zeros, not 60, and we call that a clock. So you can use these three easy steps to make reading time really easy. First, start with the small hand and it will tell you what hour it is and write this down. Step two, draw two dots. Step three, read the large hand and that will tell you what hour it is. So let's practice. The small hand is on a three, so I'll write a three. I'll write two dots and the small hand is at five. You always write two numbers, so I'm gonna write a zero and a five. So it is 305. Next, the small hand is on the five so I'll write down a 5, then two dots, then a 20. So it is 520. Again, remember, we always use two numbers after the two dots. Small hand is on the 11. I'm going to write two dots, and the large hand is on 57. So I'm going to write 11, two dots, 57. So it's 1157. And on this video, we're going to focus on a clock with three hands. The small hand is for the hour. It points to the hour, and there are 24 hours in a day. You always start with the shortest hand, or the hour hand. This is 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock. The large hand tells you the minutes. There are 60 minutes in an hour. For each number, it is equal to 5. So you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and the last number is two zeros, not 60, and you call it o'clock. The third hand tells you the seconds. There are 60 seconds in a minute. The second hand moves more quickly than the hour and the minute hand, and sometimes it may be a different color like red, or it may be thinner than the hour and minute hand. Use these five steps in order to make reading time easy on a clock. Step one, start at the small hand. Look where the short hand is pointing and write this down. Step two, draw two dots. Step three, read the large hand. Step four, draw two dots. And step five, read the skinny or the second hand. So let's practice. This first one, the small hand is on the 10. Let's write down two dots. The large hand is at 10 also. So let's write a 10. Now the second hand is on the 25. So let's write 25. So there we go. Let's go with the second one. The small hand is on the 11. So I'm going to write an 11, then two dots. The large hand is on 48. So how did I get the 48? This is 45, then 46, 47, 48. I'm going to write two dots. And then the second hand is on the 15. This next one, the small hand is on the 2. So I'm going to write a 2, then two dots. The large hand is on 27. Remember, 25, 26, 27, write two dots, and the second hand is on the 30, so I'm going to write a 30. 
If you live in the United States, Canada, or Australia, you use a 12-hour system for telling time. But why is AM and PM important? If you look at this clock, it reads 7 o'clock. However, is this 7 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock at night? This is where AM and PM help. The 12-hour system divides the 24 hours of a day into two periods, lasting 12 hours each. The first 12-hour period is designated as AM, and it runs from midnight to noon. The second period, marked PM, covers the 12 hours from noon to midnight. AM comes from the Latin phrase meaning antum meridium, which translates to before midday, and PM from the Latin phrase post meridium, which translates to past midday. There are 24 hours in a day, and this requires the hour hand to pass the 12 twice. You can see this on a timeline. You start at 12, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then you go back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then you're back at 12. Most often midnight is considered the start of the day. Midnight is classified as 12 a.m. The hours after midnight and before noon are written as a.m. These 12 hours start late at night and then transition to early morning. 3 a.m. is late at night, but 7 a.m. is when many people are waking up. 12 p.m. is considered midday or noon. The hours between noon and midnight are written with p.m. These hours start during sunlight and end in darkness. Now let's apply what we've learned. Drew wakes up in order to go to school at 7 o'clock. Would you use a.m. or p.m.? Drew wakes up after midnight and before noon, so you would use a.m. Adam's favorite restaurants stop serving dinner at 8 o'clock. Would you use a.m. or p.m.? Dinner time is after midday or noon, but before midnight, so you would use p.m. And finally, the sun rises at 6 and sets at 7. Which would you use? The sun rises after midnight and before noon, so you would use 6 a.m. And then the sun sets after noon and before midnight, so you would use 7 p.m. If you're like me, I'm checking to see what time it is quite often. If someone asks me what time it is, I could tell them in a couple different ways what time it actually is. For example, this could be described as 3.05 or 5 past 3. If you take a look at this chart, here's some common ways to describe what time it is. You could use 5 past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, half past, and then it switches to 25 to, 20 to, quarter to, 10 to, and 5 to. For example, this could be described as 520 or 20 past 5. This next one could be 1210 or 10 past 12. How about this one, 1215 or quarter past 12? Now we'll switch to the other side. This could be described as 1245 or quarter to one. This next one looks like 1240 or 20 to one. Let's take a look at the chart one more time. We have five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, half past, 25 to, 20 to, quarter to, 10 to, and 5 to. In this next video, I'll describe the difference between AM and PM. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.